Hi, good afternoon. Welcome to episode 41 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is on weapon smithing and focusing on axes. So we're going to take a look at all the different types of axes. There is four different types of axes, but only three of them fall under um, axes for for fighting. Um, because I mean, the full axe obviously is the hatchet, but that's a tool. So we're talking about we're going to talk about the three axes used in um, for combat for fighting. Now I'm going to start this um, episode by reading the Wormpedia because it will explain that as well. So it will just clarify axes for us before we begin making them. Okay, reading from the wonderful Wormpedia. Axes deal cutting damage. Remember what I said about the different types of damage? Well, with axes it's cutting damage. They attack somewhat fast, do good damage and parry occasionally. Higher skill in axes increases hit chances. Axes skills help with all types of axes, but the sub skills for each axe type only helps when using that type of axe. Axes are the only tool that can chop up fell trees. Okay, types. Here's the list of the four different types. We have the small axe, which is a uh, three second attack speed but it does weak damage then you've got the um, axe which is five second attack speed and does medium damage then you've got the huge axe which is slow attack speed but high damage and lastly the hatchet made specifically for chopping wood there is also free titles that you can get for axes. I didn't mention them with the swords, um, just simply because I jumped by it. Um, but you can read that on Wikipedia under swords for axes. They are the first type. What fifty is axe man or axe woman. Then at seventy, you get the title berserker. And last one, I'll leave you to find out if you ever get to that amazing high of ninety. So there we are, there's the information on axes. So let's start then by making a small axe. Uh, just checking my forge there, I don't want it to go out again because the ball's rear end covered up the fire. Okay, so we're going to start then by making a small axe. So let's bring up the crafting window, let's bring up the recipes and here we are so we need to start with the small axe head which is a lump of iron and a small anvil so let's grab the iron let's grab the small anvil let's now add that to the crafting window and we're looking for weapons heads so we want small axe head there we go and we want to create just one of them. So let's create. Again, it will be getting our weapon smithing skill up, as we can see there. So it's all good with regards to that. I'll close that because too many windows do get a bit irritating. Okay, we failed. Let's try it again. We are on only 55%, so it's not a high success rate value. Okay, but we have one. Okay, what do we need now to make our small axe? We need a shaft. So notice straight away the difference between swords and axes is swords used handles, axes use shafts. So let's grab a shaft. Let's add the small axe. And there we go. Let's now try and create our small axe. failed I didn't think it'd be much because we did have a 61% chance so there we are there's our small axe again we're going to store all our weapons in the cart for now and I can improve them at a later date there we go there is our small axe what I'll do is I'll re switch to, to 
to Wampedia and read what it says regarding the small axe. A short but sturdy axe with a thick blade. Usage. The small axe is primar primarily a weapon, much like the small maul and short sword. It sacrifices damage for increased accuracy speed and parry rate. The standard relationship between swords, mauls and axes suggests that small axes most likely do more damage than short swords and small mauls, but perhaps parry less than both. Used for cutting down trees, shrubbery and chopped, chopping up felled trees. So again, what that's telling you is you'll be able to get your small axe skill. Um, let's bring it up and show you. So if we go to axes, we can get our small axe to 20 just by chopping up trees and felled trees as well, which we couldn't do with the swords. We could only do, we could only chop down trees. With the axes, of course, once we've chopped the tree down, we can then chop up the felled tree, just like it's told us. And that includes shrubberies and, uh, well, bushes. So there we go. Carrying on from Wormpedia, here's the stats on the small axe. Attack speed is three seconds, so it's the same as the small sword. Cutting damage type, it, damage type is cutting. Parry rate is low, and wielding it uses just one hand. So it's a one-hander. Under the notes, it says, it is the lightest of four varieties of axe, and as such will not do much damage in combat, although it is rather fast. It also says, in the past, a birchwood version of this axe was included in the newbie starter kit, but it was replaced by the hatchet as of patch in 2007. So there we go. And lastly, can be used to chop trees, bushes, to skill up to the weapon to 20 skill. So there we go. That concludes the small axe. We will now then move on to making the medium axe, or the axe. So let's create an axe. Okay, let's bring the recipe window up. And we're just going to type in now, I presume, axe. Mm, that's pickaxe. Oh, here we go. So we want, no, not crude axe. Here we go, axe head, this one here. So we want the iron lump and a large anvil this time. So we put the small anvil back. You see the pattern, it's only the small weapons which use the small anvil. As you progress past that, you're going on to your bigger anvil. I hope you've been improving your anvils. Mine is at 40. Okay, so we'll add that axe head, the iron one, to the crafting window and add the large anvil. We will then find the axe head, which is there, and we will create one of them. Dip down, you'll notice, a little bit, not much, but only a bit. There we go, we have our iron hacks, axe head. Okay, let's now find the axe that we need, which is that one. And so again, we need a shaft with the axe head. So let's grab another shaft. Let's now add the axe. And let's try and create our axe. It's 55, so again, it's 6% lower than the small axe. So in small increments, it's getting more difficult. But it's all good because our weapon skill, smithing skill, will be going up. And there we are. We now have a medium axe, or just simply called axe. What we'll do now is we will switch to Wormpedia and read what it says about the axe. A medium-sized battle axe with a wooden shaft. Axes are used as a component of an axe trap or for fighting. Well, traps is, guess what, another episode. But it's a good one. And 
may not benefit us on the creative worm unlimited creative servers but for those of you that are on the um, public servers or adventure mode server or worm online then we can have some fun you can have some fun with traps so I will do an episode on traps in the future but not yet okay continuing on axes deal cutting damage when used in battle well we know that axes parry at 30% of the rate longswords do axes are the fastest weapon in their class and do the least damage before armor modifiers now here's the stats for the axe attack speed is four seconds the same as the longsword the damage type is cutting the parry rate is low and the wielding it is a one-hander so it will use one hand so you can have a shield and an axe equipped when using the axe under the notes it just says again that it can be used for chopping trees and bushes to get this skill of um, large axe so the axe in the skills list is classed as the large axe okay so don't get confused with that uh, it's called might be called an called an axe in your pocket but in the skills list it's the large axe so there we go yeah it says in the notes on Wormpedia it says after creation the in-game item is referred to simply as axe so there we are you've seen that now so there we go should all make complete and utter sense which will be a first for one of my episodes I'm sure you'll agree right let's put that in the cart let's now continue on and make a huge axe okay so let's find the huge oh there's the huge axe <laughs> but you know what I'm gonna see if we can find it to narrow down that huge list no we can't that's a shame I was hoping I wouldn't have to scroll through loads to find the head okay so we're looking for the huge axe head there we go we will need an iron lump and a large anvil so we've got our iron lump let's add the huge axe head let's add the large anvil let's now find that axe head huge axe head there we are and now let's try and create one it's going to chew up a chunk of our iron for sure so here we go and it's on 42 so again it's dropped right down but that didn't really use that much actually 1.50 but there we go right so now let's find the huge axe which is there and it's a shaft with the axe head so let's grab another shaft let's add the huge axe let's put the iron ore back in the forge and now we're down to 29% so increments of getting more difficult so let's try and create and there we go we have ourselves a huge iron axe let's now switch to Wormpedia and read what it says from there a huge axe with a heavy head and a wooden shaft you'll need to wield it with both hands so straight away we can see we're not going to be using a shield at the same time with the huge axe which is exactly the same as the two-handed sword so you're going to need both hands free to use the huge axe uh, next let's read the stats attack speed is five seconds exactly the same as the two-handed sword and exactly the same as if you use aggressive mode in combat it drops it to four seconds so if you're using aggressive mode the attack speed will be four seconds if you're using any other mode it will be five seconds the uh, damage type is cutting the parry rate is low and the wielding it's a two-hander weapon so you can't use the shield okay underneath notes on Wormpedia on lightly armored uh, creatures they are extreme, extremely effective capable of killing in free hits at higher skill levels 
This weapon is best used in aggressive fighting. And lastly, can be used to chop trees, bushes, and to skill up your huge axe skill to 20. And of course, it can be used for cutting up the felled trees as well. So there we are. That is the axes. Let's just check. I believe that's all we needed to go over. So thank you very much for joining me with the, in the axe episode, wherever you are in the world. God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.